Hi, today we're going to retrofit a Phoenix brand 3 lamp T8 fixture with a Max Light brand LED T8 with an internal driver. I'm going to remove the three T8 lamps. Remove this cover plate. There we go. This is a nice fixture to work with. All right, first we're going to identify our sockets. And clearly, these sockets are shunted sockets. And the Max Light internal driver LED T8 requires non shunted sockets. This socket is clearly shunted because you can see there's a connection wire that connects both sides of the pins on each socket. This is another example of a shunted socket. This happens to come from another fixture. This type, however, is not shunted with a jumper wire like we have here in the Phoenix fixture. If we had this type of socket here in the Phoenix fixture, we would have to replace all of these sockets with a non-shunted socket. And Maxlight makes these available for those of you who don't have access to non-shunted sockets. So I'm going to start by removing all of the wires going into these pins presently. Can be a little tricky. This socket is now a non-shunted socket. Now we have three non-shunted sockets ready to go. I'll have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm always going to make sure that my line voltage is on the left side of the lamp socket. So the front of the socket, this would be the left side. I'm going to put my line voltage in the left side and my neutral in the right. I now have one socket ready to light up a lamp. Now I've got to jump my power from the first socket to the second and from the second to the third. I'm simply going to use wires left over from the fluorescent wiring. <coughs> now we're going to jump our, our line the line on the seconds from the first socket to the second socket and then one more time from the second socket to the third we now have direct line voltage to all three sockets now before we put in our LED T8 lamps I'm going to apply this label this label is going to warn the next guy down the road 15, 20 years from now, that when he does maintenance on this fixture, that there is direct line voltage on these sockets. Now always be sure that when you're connecting the LED T8 lamp that you put the side marked AC in the lamp socket that you wired up. Save yourself a ton of money in electricity, maintenance costs, and bulb replacements.